Looks like I am about to be visited here in the indefinite island section. Yes, that's right, because there are some contestants of the fans that are rejoining the game here in between. So it looks like in between from anything, I mean, I'm not assuming I have never done this rejoining for the first time. I mean, this was for my first time. I'm now doing this because if I don't use it here for the next season, it wouldn't be my first time. So this is my first time to see who is rejoining the game. So as you may have tell, already have heard about that before, coming from BFDI 11, it was only Leafy. But now they don't want that to put it here in 11. So I'm going to do something here to make it straight. Possible at the angle here, so I can just make it that one to, re to zoom in it. So yeah, you don't want to see any other pictures. There's nothing to see here. So yeah, what, what are you guys thinking about? You see my medals over there? Yeah, of course you do. But I don't think it wouldn't happen. So I got to say something about this. It's only three contestants that are on their way to, to rejoin the game. Now, if they stack and correct the answer spelling of transformation, they would do that. If they don't spell it right, that would be incorrect, though. So I got nothing else to do, go with, but it's time for the reaction. One, two, three, go! Here's how they did here, in between Blueberry, Tea Kettle, and Cabby. Uh, the other guys over there, Goo and Life Ring, don't have anything to go with in between. So it looks like I got nothing else to go with, because it's very tough to go right from Inimatic start. So let's see what goes from here, me phone. Because, you know, I'm not a fan of each contestant here. Maybe the rookies will be coming here for next season here, once it pushes up. For the next set. Enough of that talk, let's go with the reaction. Who was it? I'll let you know momentarily when I uh, find out what I wrote. But you are you supposed to be showing notes here to the viewers and of course to contestants? I don't think you shouldn't be doing this to give you that one. Please don't try to like cooperate me. For a computer. How did you type the wrong spelling? I, I'm a computer on vacation, okay? A vacation that just got a... Big... A vacation? Hey, that was me going to vacation, not you, me phone. Longer with the rejoining contestant. And that player is... Cabby! How did you get Cabby? I mean, was that short? Congratulations. Uh, 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 yeah? <gasps> what? Dad! Wow. Well, I don't see the word. I should have just known by that because Cabby just left here in episode 7 and now she came back. I don't know what to tell you about this, but this isn't the only way I will go for. From the, the, the Pinkers, I got no transformation to this one, or Finkers. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say. Oh, I do. What were we even here for this whole time? You? Oh, yes, of course. For this, the immunity cookie. And? I needed someone to heat it up. Go ahead, get angry and do the, uh, head fire thing. That's... Um, that's very unenthusiastic. Maybe I'm just gonna, uh, start blowing my head. <laughs> or even a course I would do, I think, um, I'm gonna puke again. I'm vomiting it. Anyway, I don't know what to say about the cookie, but if I want to eat that, yeah, let me handle it. I'll heat it up, and I'll make it a little soft-baked cookies here for you, or hard crisp, without getting the spoon burned. You really don't like the, uh, the burned cookie, don't you? You shouldn't eat that. Whoa! Did that turn gold? I mean, wow. Look at that. That's how gold this is. I don't know what to tell you this one. Thanks to Candle for illuminating it. Wow. I 
know the rest of you are certainly disappointed, but... Yeah, well, you'll be fine. Mm. It was fun. Go win it for us. For us? Me and Definite are in this together. We'll be rooting for you. Oh, I'm not sure if I deserve all of that. Oh, get over yourself, hon. We all deserve some support. I am Definite represents. I will do my best, okay? That's the spirit. Where have they been up to? It looks like they were just destroying the, destroying their favorite delicious out that one. I mean, <laughs> look at that. What the heck? Yin Yang. Wow, you're full of covered in chocolate. I mean, that's my chocolate deluxe favorite. And uh-oh, Nickel got a banana peel. Hope you're not stepping over by a contestants. Same thing with Balloon also. Um, I'm nervous about that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I'm not gonna say anything, but I got no comments. And what are those guys up to? What are those three you're looking at? They look like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? It, it can't be. I thought she'd never come back. This is the greatest surprise of my life. Cabby here just won the big challenge on Indefinite Island to rejoin the game. And before the season is over, one more contestant will have the chance to do the same. <gasps> Cabby also has the immunity cookie and will be safe from elimination tonight. Oh my gosh, the safe from elimination for tonight? So after rejoining, then elimination? Wait, but we just spent the day bonding over sweets. Yeah. Uh, did I just see that butterfly? Go back, go back, go back. Let me see that again. Right? But we just spent the day bonding over sweets. Did you see that? Uh, the butterfly just came back. Oh, Clover's butterfly was still missing. Help and save the life of it uh, for me. Or maybe I would just not go with banana peel. You shouldn't be stepping on that. Yet, yeah, there's no sweeter sweet than this sweet. Now let's get going. Going for what? Hey, Test Tube, mm. wanted to say thanks. I asked her to keep watch over you while you were on the new Pinkers. Thanks for keeping him safe. Of course. Listen, uh, look, I know Cabby is out to get revenge on me, and I could use some numbers. One in. I can. Oh, no talk for Bo. Wait a minute. Does she have a new voice? Because I was asking that that I would have realized it was the, like a battle. Battle bot, and I was gonna say Bo the robot. I mean, I haven't seen her talking for that so long. I mean, I always uh, can't comply what happened to her because of the last season she wasn't here and she was as a ghost. But for this season, turned to be not a ghost, then real human. Well, in changing corruption to to the brain surge of this head of our headaches changed over into the battle of the going with robot. So they could have been a replacement if they can. So I'm not going to lie. Probably pull paintbrush in too. Sounds great. Yeah, cause getting constantly ignored and forced to do extra work is totally keeping me safe. Oh yeah, because of me, I don't think that I would make any good suggestion to make myself. What's the point with you, Balloon? I had the smartest idea ever of bringing back together the original thinkers. It was actually Kevin's idea. Well, she just said it first. I've been thinking it for a long, long time because I kind of missed us all together, okay? I thought, hey, why not reunite the group with the strongest camaraderie this season? With the commission fee of being able to stick around. Hold it. I don't recall approving. Oh. I would never insult your highness by not offering a tribute. The, the immunity cookie? For me? <laughs> you shouldn't tell. Wow, you are changing gold of silver spoon into gold spoon. I mean, and look what happened to your color. You got a little bit, you got a little change up in between. You took away from her life. Whom shall we vote, team? This luck is like a perfect shield. She 
can't be serious over there. Giving up her immunity to Silver? The ego on that one. She's gone next. We can't vote Cammy. She just came back. Her fault. This is what needs to be done. Silver. Why would you oh, yeah, I kept forget thinking about that. Let me fast forward this and then I'll get back into this one. Okay, now it's done. Because this time, this was not over yet. Because there was a double header. After rejoining the game, now it's time for elimination. So, time for rejoin is finished. It looks like we are not with Pinkers anymore because if all this happens now, um... It's impossible to think about it, what is going to happen next. So I'm not going to rely on to anybody. So with that being said, uh, the last immunity vote goes to Yin Yang. But now it looks like they're forming up a com combination with the total amounts with no teams. Uh, I, I want more teams. And then when it comes dying low, then we will have no teams. So I got no other things to say. So yeah, well... I guess nothing is going to match up anyway. So here's episode 10 as we're going, recovering here for last time in episode 7 elimination here from 2022 of February um, before the October one. So I don't know. You got a revenge out there? Maybe. I don't know. You got to tell me what it is about. All right. You've cast your votes. In addition to not being able to vote silver, there's also someone who can be saved by voted immunity. And that contestant... Oh, and that contestant, I gotta say, there's gonna be a battle by, uh, by the bots. So, I got no choices on this one because I forgot to post the... Post it on Instagram, and yes, I just can't remember it because if it was only for rejoin, that's it. But... If it was for this episode, then I sh forgot to post it. So it looks like I'm robbed. So let me see this. It is Yin Yang. Oh, wow. And I'm going to say that I got Yin Yang and I thought I was going to be wrong. Well, now you know for, for sure because let me show you how many votes. Voted immunity. And that contestant is Yin Yang. There it is. The bot has moved into second place, and Nickel is in fourth right down there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh my God, that thing down there is just never going to happen like that. These are the only top five only. So this is only top five because now no team selected because top five is the only spot that you can get into this one. So now Yin Yang is on the top of the board. Bot is in second. Balloons in third. So yeah, these are the only top threes I'm going for. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say Nickel for sure because this time I had enough of him because of this all happens to be a very bad day for me here on episode 8. But I can't say about what happens, but I got a problem with Candle for a while. If the right son of Beast would be able to be rebanking things back to where he was, he could have just been sworn he would have been out here to stop someone. And there is no Mi Foam 4S. So, yeah, that sucks. So, it looks like they don't need him again. Why do I have to know about that? Well, no. No luck for anybody. That's got to be a lot of resistance to do for. Let's move on before before time runs out. What is that? Three times? Four. <laughs> oh, yeah, four times. Episode four, episode eight, and episode nine. Now it's episode 10. Thanks, guys. Any vote for Yin Yang won't count. All right, so here goes. The elimination is about to start now. I'll read the votes. First vote, Cabin. 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 That's three votes, Cabin. For real? For real? Are you sure? Is this going to happen again, like episode 7? That's four votes, Captain. Nickel. Four votes, Captain. One vote, Nickel. Oh no, I got no questions to say about this one, but I guess now it's down to Cabby and Nickel, but one more? Don't think so. Test. Uh oh. Test. That's 
four boats test two, four boats cap, one boat nickel. One well, this is going to be a tough battle on the call. I have test tube here safe, so I was so going to be informative to lose my science rules. I don't know what to tell you this. And both left. Tenth contestant eliminated from animate insanity invitational. Test tube. Wow! I don't believe it. That test tube is out of the game. Wow, I was very stoned. Now the veteran goes down from this episode since last time in season two. That was turning to be a bad look on my agility. Wow. And now I know what to tell you this one here because now what fan was gone in episode number two. Now he has some promises to keep it over from Cabby. And now I think it might be happening here again. So I think... I think Tustube may have a uh, may have an ability to make a situation happen again, so I felt like I was very completely sorry to tell what this will happen. Make me forget what this is gonna come by because that point we when we have the next deals of the episode, we will tell you for the uh, next episode of the Anime Insanity Invitational of the exit interview. That will be the next thing for next month, so make sure you keep your eyes tuned here before Thanksgiving, and you might need to know that Test Tube did a hard job. Well, Science Gal might be the only thing to talk about. Great job! Thinkers forever! Hey, wait! You two played a very strong game. Sorry it had to happen this way. Yeah, no heart. Oh, that's forgiveness. Thanks for the uh thanks for the communication in between. That's so nice. Feelings. Wait, wait, wait. You two with the good sportsmanship? Why? You just lost the game! This is important to you! Test two! I I just look happy, but we're all just trying our best. Paintbrush here made a new family this season, and you know what? I can respect that. They didn't vote with me, but they also didn't vote for me. Since when did everyone find me so easy to read? I'm still sorry, though. All good. It's great that you care about all of this, but all you've done is make people scared of you. And when you do that, you miss so much. Oh, golly! Do I get to hear your voice before I head out? <laughs> um, so... How do I sound? Oh, it, it, it's a different sound. It sounded like Clover's voice, but what happened to the Bo's voice from Taylor? Is that what I was thinking? Who just replaced it? I forgot who that was. Am I going to say that Clover's voice was being transmanized? Oh, that might be definitely the replacement to be going here forever. Nice, I hope. I thought I'd be more excited right now, but you've given me so much. My new legs, this voice, myself. There's still so much I haven't found. Hey, even so, all I see and hear now is you. So thank you, because I missed out for too long. <sighs> well, well, I guess let's say about this one is I'm just going to feel like Bo. Hope you talk better at this point, because I'm not... Gonna try to keep this up. Goodbye, Test 2! I don't get it. How'd you change your voice? And that's one contestant swapped out with another. Anything is possible in Merge. Tune in to see how these two power alliances face off next time on Inanimate Insanity Invitational. And that is gonna do here for episode 10 of the reaction, the rejoin and elimination. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And let me flip it over for you guys. Well, so much to say about this one here from 1 to 10. Pe hey, very good thing to make it successful. And I bet you would do this to me. Um, speaking of this, how about if I go there, maybe I'll take another trip here from another one from vacation. Um, courtesy of test tube, how the relation just come up. Probably that one okay. But I think... 
I can go, go ahead and head to Six Flags Fright Fest. We're not done yet. Maybe this might be the only thing. If you want to stick around here next time, you can do that. But anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out everyone for a while as the Inanime and Sandy Invitational of the Elimination and Rejoin Dial. Now, uh, probably you would get that one here. So with that, stay tuned for the deals. That will be happening next for tomorrow of this one here on Sunday. Part of a Halloween weekend, or Hollow Weekend for sure. See ya! Son of Beast is out of here. Chris is out. Tune us out next time. See ya! Animation! Well, folks, the time has come. Because now, I'm not in Walt Disney World anymore. I think it's time for me to head back to my theme park. This time, it's Fright Fest. Let's get this scary thing started. Oh my god. You just came back. But you never take away from me. <laughs> He's back. Ah, it's a cobweb. That doesn't really narrow it down. He's alive! Oh man, great to be back home here for a nice part of the land making in the world. Since last year, I've done it two times here of Fright Fest, but it seems like I'm only doing one for this year, and it may be tough enough though, because the last day of the Fright Fest is on October 31st. So it looks like we got some plenty of attractions around here in between from those, and a lot of uh, decorations are set. So without further ado, let's get on to the attractions to see what we got. Well, it looks like the Fright Fest is about to begin because it's starting to get dark. It looks like we're about to be heading to our first attraction here at the frontier of the land. And I'm gonna tell you, the kids' boo fest is now on the right side of it. And look at that color up her hair. Nice decals popped up. Orange, black, and purple. That's very nice. This turned to be a ghost town. I'm just gonna tell you why, because I have never done it before. That is insane. Here it is. Exile of the canyon really wants it to stop the valley from the dead. And I would pro prove you, can't tell you why, I've walked in there the last time I was looking inside right over here. This one over here got very dark about the last time, by last year. And there you can see the log flume, it's right over there. Yep, but now I can't even see it will have to wait for next year's season. Looks like the El Toro is not in operation for this season. Yeah, I know that that the news thing has already had happened. Sometimes it just went to a close down major nightmare. So I'm thinking they should replace the hybrid coaster of El Toro. That's my prediction, but I'm not going to, I'm not gonna find out for sure because, because that coaster really turned out to be a halt of by then. So yeah, the only attraction that was closed is El Toro. So yeah, only one on once, but it looks like I'm not gonna ride that one here again because it's closed already. Yeah, sorry, but next season will happen again. 
Wow, this place over here seems quiet to me. I mean, no monsters yet, but soon you will see it. So you'll have to find out for me instant. I gotta say, it's in between those guys. It's tough though, not to mention. It's very hard to uh, deny that once this comes out, monsters pop out. They would never try to like treat on you like you died, like you did. Even Red Son of Beast here in this land of a ghost would have been out here so far. Our first ride of the night is Medusa. This is our first stop here since there was a new paint job. And as you could tell about the front, it's been finished. Here's the reveal of the Medusa sign. They have done. They've completed all the work. Look at that. That's a nice picture here of Medusa on this on the display. I mean, this is awesome. Very nice job. And that's how this finishes. Yeah, because by the time I was back then, it wasn't uh, it wasn't made already. But now you know. This looks very awesome. Anyway, let's get to the ride. Medusa time, we'll see you all in the next update. Oh my gosh, Medusa above the track. I mean, that was success. I'm telling you this one why, because uh, Medusa was in my number five spot. But I'm gonna say uh, this is my uh, last attraction to ride this for the season because Holiday in the Park is just a couple months away before uh, before Fry Fest comes to an end so far. So I gotta tell you this one here, this was the best ride. Definitely tell you this one here from every element of this run. Corkscrew, the loop, the half pipe. I mean, wow, that's uh, that is crazy. I like that one a lot. Successful for the uh, ultimate five of my list. Successful on the A list. Here he goes. I'm gonna show you this angle over here from the Medusa of this section. Don't worry about that. I can only get this one loop. Well, if we can go on. Here it comes. So the good news is we're heading to King the Ka for the next attraction. There he is, you can see my dad here. Uh, I think that was last year. I can remember that one here for sure. So it looks like it's a nice display in the background over there. I think that's a great photo for you if you enjoyed Medusa. But it looks like uh, we're heading back to get out of this uh, deaf uh, part of a canyon over there. So it looks like we're gonna head over to the Golden Kingdom because King Dakot's back open, so we'll keep you guys uh, posted for another update. Well, this sudden bad boy of the runaway mine train, sadly, not in operation. Which is good because this is the time I rode this and it was when my knees are like painful. So good thing I'm not riding this again because it is because the lower body is giving me uh, lots of lots of bang, pain on my on my legs. So yeah, they also, I'm gonna say, hurt your knees on this, on this attraction. So yeah, sorry, hurt your knees, you're done. Something new over here. It's the Boo Fest here for the, at the Bugs Bunny National Park. So I would prefer if you, if you're a kid and you got family here and you're gonna really enjoy, you should go ahead and go right over here if they are not scared of anything. But this time, I'm not here for this one. I'm not enjoying with the fun. So it looks like I'm gonna cross over to that side over here. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why. Because this is the only place that I've, I've never seen them here before, but this is what I remember here from my memories. Caveman, nobody is working because right now it's, there's no employees working over here. And now you know, Plaza de Carnival is now a how about the carnival on the other hand because now this coaster is left to rot in operation well 
sort of. There they are, the bloodshed. This is the entrance over here. Look at the people. I'm gonna tell you why, because they really want to get into the walkthrough attraction. This is probably the same thing, just like the Halloween Horror Night. I'm never gonna lie. They want to get in there and they want to go right from here. There they are, monsters. Get ready to scare your depths of your nightmares. If you don't subscribe, you will be enforced with the monster at this point. You better do what I tell you to do. This line over here is a forgotten carnival since I was never showing you that over there. Yeah, look at that line. I mean, in the near future, I will try doing a scary maze because I know most people really love scary maze. I never tried it before, but I, uh, hopefully later, by the next, it will happen here again. So I will see what will happen. Good to see uh, King the Cop back open again. Since we come here two times while this attraction wasn't open yet, but now it is. Outstanding their ride. I mean, I was, I was freaking like a freaker. That's because now the, the water in my eyes was blocking my whole view of it and it was super fast. Wow, I was like shouting all over the place. I mean, Kinda Ka's coming in, not five, but four, replacing El Toro because it was fast, how it does turn out. I like that, I like the top hat right behind it, like this size. That's like a, a very nice knee hill. Speaking of it, I'm walking to the next side of it. It's starting to get dark over here. I'm gonna have to end it to go on that side. See you later. The lights are on. That's for the exit for the bloodshed. But it's too dark to see it over there. Now you can see it coming. Yeah, sorry with the uh, blurry segment of the of this camera, but don't be surprised if you see the uh, car. You can see it better than me because the lights are on. Uh, before I get back into this one, if you would like to check out the the last Fright Fest video here, I have the info popped up on your screen. The first one I have, and the second one I will uh, give it to you by the time I go to the other rides instead. So, pretty uh, crowded here. That was me and dad last visit here in 2021. So it's gonna be happening here again, once more. And from here and there, I mean, the dark place has already been pulling out, out of my mind. It's just the thing I really need to know. Now I'm heading over to the next ride, Green Lantern. I'm gonna try to avoid the bumpiness of my ear. So yeah, I'm gonna see what I can definitely do. Beast really needs some fearness to escape the pain from here. Who's this? It's Eric Rose. <laughs> and they got a lot of stage here in protection from here. Nice mask. And Twister, I'm sorry, but still need a friend. Okay, just got off of Green Lantern and Superman. Two rides were great, but I had to wait very long to ride this attraction of the Superman because it was too long to wait for an hour. And yes, I was kind of messed up. I should have gone the faster way to get there. And it should have been just like this. But like I said before, sorry Slingshot. I think there will be an open spot for me for next season as well. We're halfway there, but we got a couple more rides here and then we got to head out because this time everything's turning dark. I think I'm there's a nightmare in my theme park. Trust me, it is. I mean, look at that, wow. That's extremely, uh, extreme line to get in the uh, scary maze. But so far, however, we are getting out of here, this place. And we're gonna head over to that side. 
I think it's time for the next attraction. Well, you'll see. I'm out of here. Okay, this is one I did not go on last year, but it looks like a Joker's about to take its next spot. Okay. Well, that's done. I guess that Joker was all right. Made that one better than last year that we didn't get to ride it. So, yeah, I think we're down to one last ride, and that will be Jersey Devil down there. Wow, look cars. It looks like the monsters have popped out like right over here, right by Joker. I think I'm going to head to my last ride down here. A long way down. It's going to be a long one. Now, don't get me wrong, because this is getting really dark over here. Looks like we got one ride left. I got something else to say about the ride. Top three in my list, and I think I have the second one here for you. It's back for more Fright Fest on the calling card with Big Frills Mike. If you're interested in it, I would uh, go ahead and recommend that part. You'll see. Maybe in between those two won't be that bad. Looks like the boat remote is no longer to be used anymore. There is time in Sydney. They're now using it up their way. I mean, you got, they got some monsters over there. But a lot of music going on. Oh, that's really amazing. for the double it's Jersey Devil it's the number one ride on my list it's gonna be really wicked to be riding this attraction at night yeah I remember this one it's gonna be a really wacky on this ride but it's part of the season it's gonna be wicked at night I'm gonna be thrilled at this point to get on the attraction so with that best attraction ever Let's get on to this one. See you all next time. All right, you good, buddy? See you when you get back. This really was the best. Never gonna lie, when I make a video of the top 10 attractions at Six Flags Great Adventure, I will tell you about this one. Very tough one's gonna go by. So you will have to stay tuned for next year as I will be doing the uh, top 10 rides here at Six Flags Great Adventure. That will be the narrow thing. I would like to do that one here for so far. Well, as it, time is flying by, I think it looks like that it's time to go eat. It's time to go, yeah, time to go starve. It's time to, I'm gonna try to like put some blood on it anyway. So that is it for the ride. Medusa one, King Ka one, Green Lantern, Superman Ultimate Flight, Joker, and of course, the Jersey Devil. Yeah, those are the rides. Um, I'm gonna have to come back next time that I didn't get to go on it that. So it looks like I have to come back here again so yep yeah, that's it folks with that one huge success of the fright fest thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe because if you don't i will be facing your nightmares here from my channel so you better do what i ask you to do or you'll be sorry so with that six flags fright fest a success what a great night here at this theme park see you next time peace out for a while as the six flags fright fest style Happy Halloween.
folks. If you don't, somebody will. Subscribe now.